Hey everyone, it's Kabir here. So we have started with the bootstrap sessions, guys. So in last session, we saw how can we create a card using the CSS. And we already saw how complicated it would be when you are going to develop a card from the scratch. That's one of the biggest drawbacks that you guys are going to face, right? Now, you guys have to remember certain things. It is very easy or convenient for us to use the bootstrap guys, right? It's very easy and convenient for us to use the bootstrap. If you wanted to queue the stylings by default from the CSS, now we are have to write so much code and it becomes really difficult for us to write such kind of thing. Now, as of now guys, just you need to understand it doesn't mean that CSS is, is not important. It doesn't mean that CSS is not important because Bootstrap is going to provide you some limits, right? It is going to provide styles in some limit. Now you want it to go beyond that limit, right? You want it to develop something beyond the Bootstrap, then you have to go for the CSS. That's the only way. So just try to understand if you want to be a great front-end developer or a good designer, you have to be very, very, very strong in CSS and HTML and JavaScript. This thing you guys have to know. And if you want to be a very good designer, then you have to be very strong, very, very strong in the CSS. Okay, fine. In last session, we saw something like cards, right? And we saw how complicated it was. Now let's use some bootstrap classes and build a proper card. So in last time we saw some concepts like a container, we know how can we divide a container into rows, how rows are divided into 12 parts as a columns, all that thing. So today we are going to implement that each and everything. Okay guys, so let's find. So now let's begin our session. So if I wanted to create an HTML skeleton, so for that I have a shortcut like doc and tab. Now I got the HTML skeleton. So I'm gonna remove this meta tag. Okay, fine. Now this time the title should be something like cards. Or I can say something like bootstrap cards. Okay, fine. Now, if you wanted to create a card, in, we have some shortcut and that shortcut are nothing but just type dot card tab. Now you got div tag with attribute called class and value should be card. Okay, now we know that card is divided into three parts, card header, card body, and card footer. Now let's construct that three things. So I'm gonna say card header. It means dot card hyphen header and tab. Now you got card header. In the same way, I want card body. So dot card hyphen body tab. Now in the same way, I need footer. So dot card hyphen footer tab. Now we have constructed some kind of design for the card. Now I want you to give some more stylings. So if you wanted to give a background, right? So normally in CSS, we use the background property, right? Here, just we have to use short uh, like class BG hyphen primary. Now this contains some predefined set of color, right? Now in the same way, I wanted to give some color to a body as well. So BG something like warning. And we have one more something like BG light or BG dark, something like that, okay? So these are the predefined colors that we get from the bootstrap. So we are going to see these colors in the depth, but as of now, just you have to remember that we have something called class, which is BG primary, which is used to give some background color. That's it. I'm just gonna save it and come to our browser and let's see how it is going to look like. Now we are not able to see anything guys, right? Why we are not able to see anything? Because we didn't link our HTML file with the bootstrap. I mean, bootstrap files are not linked to our HTML file. So that's why our document is now our browser not able to understand this kind of things like what is card header, what is card, 
it's not able to understand. So first of all, we have to link the bootstrap. So to link the bootstrap files to our HTML file, for that we have a tag called link tag. So link tab. Okay, fine. Now we have to provide the location of our bootstrap. So it is in the same folder. So slash dot slash MDB bootstrap and CSS. And I'm gonna say bootstrap dot CSS. Now we already saw MDB bootstrap as well. So the people who are new to direct to this particular session, I would recommend you guys to check the previous two videos on the bootstrap so that you guys can get the idea of bootstrap. So link tab. Now I'm going to provide the location of MDB bootstrap, right? So it is in the inside the CSS and this time the file name is mdb.css. Okay, fine. Now save it, comes to your browser, refresh it. Now you are able to see a, some, it, this is a card, but by default, they have some stylings, right? Now you guys can guess, right? What stylings this has. Width is 100%, some kind of height they have provided, some background color, this is called primary, danger, dark, right? Now, if you wanted to change these properties, right? You wanted to change the stylings, then you have to go with the CSS, right? Now you guys can guess how important the CSS is, even if you wanted to do something with the bootstrap, right? Now these are the few set of colors. You wanted to give your own color, the a combination of so two colors. So we have a very strong property that is background and linear gradient as a value. So you guys, guys can understand how beautiful the your page or your components are going to look when you are going to use linear gradient property. So, and you guys have to analyze that the body tag, like card body has slightly bigger, like larger height compared to your header and the footer. Whereas your header and the footer has the same kind of height. Apart from that, the margin is zero because it is coming from the start. So the margin would be zero and we cannot guess the padding as of now. So let us see. So now let's come. And my plan is in the header, I wanted to display a text call something like employee details or kind of student details, something, okay? Or something, some kind of information. And in the card body, I wanted to display an image. And in the footer, I wanted to display some content plus one button. So that's my requirement. So for that, how can we do? So let's come to our VS code. Now in the card header, but before that, I don't want the size of the card. It should take complete width, right? 100% because it doesn't look like a card. It doesn't give a feel of a card. So I wanted to reduce the width. So if you wanted to reduce the width, you have to go with the CSS. So I have the style attribute, style equals to, where I'm gonna say width equals to something, like I'm gonna give 300 pixel. Now save it, comes to your, just refresh it. Now we are able to decrease the size of your card. I mean width of your card. Now I want this card should be in the middle. It means margin should be auto from left and right. So to give the margin, Bootstrap provides us a class, special class called yum. It's a simple class called yum. So for the header or for the card, I want to say yum x now yum x indicates yum for margin x indicates left side and the right side from here i need auto means it will come in the center so let's see whether it is coming in the center or not yes now it came the center whenever i'm going to say yum x yum for margin x is it is going to take consideration your left side and the right side now if you want to give some space or a margin from top or bottom, you have M, Y, nothing but X axis, Y axis. So I want some gap right from top also M, Y, I'm gonna say something like two. Now just refresh it. But before that, let me give some color for our body as well. So I'm gonna say style, but this style should be after the link. So here I'm gonna provide style tag. I'm gonna say body should be background, should be something like linear gradient. 
and it should be something like 45 degree and black comma orange red i want to save it comes to a browser now just refresh now you are able to see i mean there is no margin from the top when once i have refreshed we got some margin from the top in case i remove this one my2 save it come here now we have the gap as of now as i have refreshed it is going up right so that's nothing but your margin my2 fine that's fine now i want some text here i want to be h3 and it should be something like friends forever some kind of title i am giving right and i want this text should be in the center so for that we have a class called text center so in bootstrap everything is all about this classes how in the css we everything is all about properties if you want to do, do something you have to give one property you have to understand the properties in the same way if you want to do something in your bootstrap or you want to study you have to study about the classes so for everything you have a, a class so here if you want to bring the text inside the center for that text center so i'm going to refresh it i mean i'm going to save and refresh it it is like friends forever now it is in the center the text is now i want to change the color of a text from black to white so for that we have a class called text white text white now just refresh it comes to your browser and just check the text is white we are going to see many more properties but step by step now in the body part i want you to keep a image so for that we have to come to the body i'm going to say image source and i'm going to give the location of the image which is in the same folder in the images folder and i have something like social something kind okay image and i'm going to just keep it save it come here and refresh now you are able to see the length of your image or a high width and the height of your image is a big it is not fitting in that particular box so to fix it in the box we have a class for the image tag called img hyphen img hyphen fluid now if you save it and come here and just refresh it now you are able to see that particular image has been set inside a middle but we are getting some margins right some padding this padding is because by default card border i mean card body have some paddings so i wanted to eliminate that padding so how we have the margin as m in the same way if you wanted to do something with the padding for that they gave a class called p tag so for that just use p so for the body i want to eliminate that padding so i'm going to say p hyphen 0 and guys you have to remember the value of this padding or margin should be from 0 to 5 if you give mar m6 or p6 it is not going to be value because they have fixed the value which will be from 0 to 6 if you want to give more then you have to go with the css so i'm going to save it now come here and just refresh it yes now your image has been fit here now inside the footer i wanted to give some kind of content so i'm going to say lorem 30 tab right now i'm going to save it and now the color and the text should be in the middle for footer as well as for header so instead of giving the in header all these classes i wanted to give to the card so that it can be applicable for header and the footer so i'm going to remove these two things from here and just going to paste inside a card class so here it should be white now save it and come here just see yes now we got some kind of content as well right 
Now in the same way, I need a button also. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say just button. And we already saw in the first session, some classes regarding the button that is nothing but BTN, BTN kind of, um, I can give something like light. Okay, fine. Now I'm gonna say read more, some, some content on the button. So if you refresh it, now it is going to look like read more. Now this is a button. Now I wanted to change the color or a background color and all that things, right? So for that, so instead of light, let me give it has something like warning. Yeah, now we got some kind of color, right? Now I want you to change the default color of that background. So for that, what we have to do, just give BG warning. Okay, fine. Now in this BG warning, I'm gonna say background should be something different, which I wanted to set. So linear gradient, I'm gonna say 45 degree orange, red and green. Combination of orange, red and the green. Now if I'm gonna save it, so it's not worked. 45 degree background, linear gradient, 45 degree orange, red for PG warning, right? Sorry, it is not BG warning, it is BTN warning. I want to change the background color of the button. So just refresh it. Now we got some kind of color. Now if it is not looking good, now we can change it from green to black. Yes, now it is something like read more. Now we have changed the background color. Now this is how we build a card, right? Now this is how we are building a card. Now you wanted to build one more card, right? Now just what you have to do, just copy everything. Now from here, I'm gonna copy everything. Now this time I wanted to change the image. I will be saying something like footer image and uh, save it, come here and just refresh it. Now, if you come down, now you are going to get something like this. Now, I want to change the text. Instead of friend forever, I want to say something like, mm, it is our, okay, here. I'm gonna say beautiful. beautiful city right now I wanted to change the color for BG primary so for that dot BG hyphen primary and we have to give some kind of color so I'm gonna just copy this here this time I'm gonna say instead of So come here, just refresh it. Now you are able to change the default color of your bootstrap classes, right? This is how you override. And this is how CSS is important to do some different variations in your classes, right? Now, but it is not looking good, right? The card is coming first, then the card is coming next. So I wanted to remove that property, which is MX Auto. So just, I'm gonna remove MX Auto and I will be removing the same from next div as well. So once I have removed it, now just see how it is going to look like. Now it came here, but the thing is that the next card is coming down of this card and this card is not coming beside. That's because we know that div is block kind of element. Now I wanted to change this element display into inline block. So for that, again, we have to go with the CSS. And you guys have to remember here one thing. So 
what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give some extra class. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna say S1. And in the same way for next two also, I'm gonna say guess one because I wanted to apply same stylings for both the divs. So instead of giving ID, I'm just trying with the class. So let us see it's, it is going to work or not. So how can we represent a class dot yes one? Okay, fine. Now display, I want it should be inline block. Save it. Now come here and I hope you guys know inline display properties. If the people who don't know about it, we already made a videos on the CSS and the HTML. If you are new to Bootstrap, just I would recommend you guys to refer all that videos so that it will be very easy for you guys to understand the Bootstrap. If you are jumping directly to the Bootstrap, it will be very difficult. So I'm going to refresh. Now we got here, right? We got something like, like this. Now come here. Now what I wanted to do, I wanted to give some margin, right? So I will be saying mx3 in the same way for this div as well, mx3. Save it, come here, just refresh it. Now you are able to see two cards are coming here. Now that's about your card guys, right? Now, if you wanted to build one more card, just copy this part and paste. Once again, just change the image. I'm gonna say card one, something like that. Come here. Just refresh it. Now, instead of beautiful city, this time I'm gonna say just city. Some kind of heading. Now, this is how you guys are providing or creating the cards and keeping it in a side by side. Now, this is nothing but your horizontal, right? Sorry, it's a vertical because vertical in the sense, this is a card header, then body, then your footer. Now it is coming in the vertical format. Now I want to design it in a horizontal format. Well, means it should be something like this. This should be card. Now this time I want the image should be here. I want here, it should be the image. And here should be some heading. Then I want some content. Then I need a button. So here we are not creating card footer. Okay, I'm just creating a card header and card body, right? So for that, what we have to do, we will be seeing. But before that, we need to see something more. So just I'm gonna comment this entire code. Okay, fine, now code is commented, right? Now let's create once again, the skeleton. If you wanted to create skeleton, just talk, tap. Okay, now this time we are going to use the container concept. Now by default, we are getting div, right? By getting a div as a block element. So if you are creating a card, it is coming one by like one card after one card, but I want it should be in the bit side, right? So I'm gonna remove this. So the first thing we have to link the bootstrap. So I'm gonna copy. Just copy this thing, come down, just paste here. Fine. Now, here, what is the concept, guys? Already I have explained that. I want to take one container. 
Now this container is divided into rows. This is the first row and each row is divided into 12 columns, right? Now to do, now to construct something, this kind of layout, Bootstrap has given a different, different classes, okay? Now this row is divided into 12 equal columns. Guys, concentrate on the concept side. You have to understand what, exactly what concept it is and remember the class for that particular construct, concept. So if I wanted to create something like this, this is a container, then this is the first row and this is the column, means we require three classes. So come here, I'm gonna say dot container tab. We have created a container. In that container, we have the row. So for that, we have the class called row tab. Okay, fine. Now I want first card should take four column space. It means this is a row, right? Now this row is divided into 12 parts. So this is the first part, second part, third part, and this is the fourth part. Now my card, one card should take this much space. This is a four column space. So to do like that, what we have to do after creating the row, I, I want four column space, right? So for that column MD hyphen four. So it should be something like dot column hyphen MD hyphen four. MD is for medium. It represents the medium size of the screen. Tap. So once you have tapped, now in this, I wanted to create a card, right? So I'm gonna say card tap. Now here, I want the card header and the story is going to repeat, right? So I'm gonna say card header tab card hyphen body tab card hyphen footer tab. Now here I want something like heading. So I'm gonna say H3 and it will be same. So just we are going to, we will not copy, we will write again. It will be friends forever, right? Now I wanted to give some background color for this. So BG primary. And apart from that, we will be saying something like here, it should be BG warning. And this should be something like BG dark. Fine, now save it comes to your browser and just, just see how it is going to look like. Now this is how it is looking like, right? Now this is the friends forever. Now I wanted to give some classes for this card as well. So it will be text center text white. Save it. Now I want in the body part, it should be image. So IMG SRC it will be images and I'm gonna say card one. Apart from that, I want a class for the image as well. So class will be IMG hyphen, IMG hyphen fluid. Fine, now just save it. And here it should be. Now in the footer, I want a P RAM say lower RAM 20 tab and I'm gonna say something like button which will be something like class equals to btn iPhone btn something like primary and it will be like same like read more. Why I'm repeating the code? Because you guys will get used to it. Okay, this because if you listen second time, it will be very easy for you guys to understand, right? So it's okay if it wastes it if you're wasting the time in that. But that's how we are going to learn, right? So I'm gonna save it. Now see, now we wanted to remove this padding. So for that, we know padding should be zero for the card body. So P hyphen zero space. Now come here and just refresh. 
now see now this card took basically space of four columns now in the same way i wanted to represent one more card in the next four column space because one row has divided into 12 parts already we have covered the four parts now still eight parts are remaining right in the same way what i'm going to do i'm going to just copy this column from here so we have to leave the two divs okay copy and just paste here now this time let me change the image the image would be something like card 2 so i'm going to say card 1 and okay this is a card 2 actually and our previous one is card 1 so just remove this content from here and just say card 1 now the save which comes to your browser and refresh it now you are able to see without writing any display property automatically the card is coming beside the next card because this card took four column space this card took more four, four column space still i have more four column space but your requirement is no i don't want it to do like that i want to be take this card as a four column space and this card as a 12 eight column space so total will be 12 so instead of telling column md4 this time i'm going to say this one should be md8 so this particular card is going to take complete eight column space now come here and just refresh it now just see now it is taking complete eight part space eight part column space and this will be considered as your first row in the same way now you wanted to create one more row okay so what you are going to do just copy the row right now this time i'm going to copy complete row okay let me copy it properly let me come here and copy the complete row copy paste this time i'm going to say it should be only four but i need one more card now this card should be something like 3 come here and just refresh it now you guys able to see a next card 1 2 3 and here it is 1 3 right in the same way you can do if you want to change it from h instead of giving 8 you thought i don't want it it to give h i want to change it to something like 6 and this one also 6 so 6 plus 6 it will be 12 save it comes to your browser just see right now you can give some margin as well for the card so for the card i want to give m y not card i want to give for the row so for the row i want m t or m y hyphen something like 3 in the same way for the next row i want to provide something like m y hyphen 3 now come here and just refresh it now this is how in the first row you are displaying the two cards in the second row you are displaying the three cards now you can take call md1 you can take call md2 you can take call md3 that's depends upon you now here three i want four cards so what you will do in next row you will take every column as a call md3 so that one card will take three column space so you can keep four cards now this is how 
we use the container concept. So container concept is very important. You have to understand this particular concept. A container, it will have the rows. Each row is divided into 12 columns. This is what we call the grid kind of system. So this is all about your card. Now one more is pending. That is nothing but a card that we wanted to represent in the horizontal format. So let's try that one. So I'm going to comment all this. Let me copy these things. And let me comment all the from here. to last. Okay, we have commented. Now let me come down. Let me create once again the HTML skeleton doc tab. Now let me remove these things and just paste something here. Okay, fine. Now I wanted to create in the horizontal. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take container, right? So it's very easy. Now this time we are not going to consider any card header or card body kind of things. Right, guys? Just a minute, guys. So now I wanted to create something like that. So first of all, I will be taking one container. I need one container. So tab, I have created a container. Now in this container, I will be, instead of taking a row, I will be taking directly a card. So card. Fine, I have took the card. Now in this card, I want to take first row or uh, column I can take one row so it will be something like row tab now in this row the first now row is divided into 12 parts right like, like first four parts should be like a header card header so for that what I'm going to say call md hyphen four so it should be dot call hyphen md hyphen four done now here, I wanted to represent an image. So IMG SRC equals to something like some kind of image you are going to say. So image hyphen card one. And we have the class equals to IMG fluid, right? Now here, I'm not mentioning anything as a card body or card header. So just guys, you remember, I took a container so let us understand by the diagram what we have did. I took one container, so let it be a container. Now in this container, I have took a card. Now I took one card. Now I told in card, in the first row, the entire card will have only one row. So this considers a one row. In that I want a column with four, I mean, I want a space of four columns. So this is something like four column space. Now this is what we have constructed. I wanted to define here an image and here some title, some content, a button. So come to our code. So we have created this now one more div. So I'm gonna say dot call hyphen md hyphen eight tab in the same row. Now this is represent an image here. I want something like H3, it should be card one. Then I want some content like P, I'm gonna say lorem 20 tab. And this time I want a button as well. So I'm gonna just say button class equals to BTN, BTN primary something and it should be read more. Now I wanted to slightly modify some background color of some this button. Okay, so for that, just take a style tag and just say dot btn primary. And this time I'm gonna say background linear gradient it should be something like 45 degree hyphen black hyphen red. Okay, fine. 
now we want everything should be text center text center text white and i need a card to card some margin so mt something like 3 so fine save it now just control browser and just see how it is going to look like now this is looking like something like this because we took the size of card now i wanted to decrease the size of the card so i'm going to say style equals to width should be 300 pixel something like that if i say style equals to 300 pixel so what going to happen now this is a container this is a card this is a row in that we told i want this much now come here and just see what are the drawbacks now our image is big right compared to that one so it should be img save it come here refresh now you are able to see the image has put here but we are not able to see anything because our text color is also white so i wanted to give some background color so in the same way how we give for here here also i wanted to give something like bg and what we took for the bg um, i want to take bg primary so this time let me copy this property and just paste here and now this time instead of black let me go blue violet blue violet okay fine save it now i want this is the image now this should be something like bg hyphen primary save it now comes to your browser now you are able to see something here but we want we want something good right so i'm going to do one thing i'm going to change the content from p it should be something like lorem 50 tab and i want some margin so i'm going to say for this two margin from top not for div i want to say see we have one more class in the card something like class title so i'm going to say class card title it's just to provide a title nothing big so mt hyphen 3 something like this now come here and just refresh it now we got something like this now this is what we wanted or else if you can remove the card center as well Mm, text center if i remove the text center and just save it come here and refresh it now this is how it is looking like now just do one thing mm, for this card let m be zero let p be zero fine now this is how the card look like right guys now if you wanted to create one more card in the same way so what you guys have to do you just have to copy the card right just leave the container from there just copy the content and come here and just paste after this div this one and this time i'm gonna say image should be something like two and here should be scored something like two fine now this time i don't want it to give any background color okay so i'm gonna remove the color from here and let me remove this text white as well now see how it is going to look like now this is the card this is the card we wanted to bring so it's looking far better than this right so let's do the same thing for that also so let me remove the text white let me remove the background 
save it come here and just refresh it now this is a card one this is a card two we are displaying in the vertical and this is how we use the concept of container and this is the concept okay not this one so in the same way in one more scenario we saw without using the container concept how it is going to print then we have to use the process CSS properties like display inline block to get the structure in this kind. If you won't use that one, it will come one after one. So this is all about your card concept in Bootstrap. How can we construct a card in your website using the Bootstrap? Now this card is going to play a very crucial role, guys, because when you're going to design some kind of website, you will get so much requirement where you have to display some kind of data in the card format. So that time you have to use this kind of knowledge and you guys already saw this is without changing the color that we are getting directly from the boot MD and bootstrap and this button color we are changing explicitly using the CSS property. Now this is all about the card concept. Now from class will be not be on tomorrow. So tomorrow is Friday, right? So there will be no class tomorrow. The class will be on the Saturday and we are going to see many more concepts in the bootstrap now we are going to like card is very important so i have took the two sessions and we went very slow but what are the concepts we are going to see now already we are familiar with the css so just we need to learn okay for this particular property in css we have to use this class in the bootstrap that's it that's what you are going to learn in the css i mean that's what you are going to learn in the bootstrap okay Thanks guys. Thank you for watching the video.